Hey, hi, and hello, my crafty friends. Today I have a single kit from you, but I think it may qualify as multiple little projects. And this was given to me to review for you guys by New Craft Day. <laughs> So before I open this, just in case there's no image inside, you can probably tell that this is a wind chime kit. And I believe Amanda at Amanda's Crafty Corner also received this. Um, I believe they could have done better by sending different ones to people for review so you, the customers, can see more of what they have to offer rather than just the same kit. So I already did open this to make sure everything was there. So the drills are here, they're just on the side. And sorry for any noise in the background, my son just came home from school. His vacation starts tomorrow, so I thought I would just get this out of the way. So it looks like all of our instructions are here, and thankfully they are in English. It shows you what the kit includes. How to thread the things, blah, blah, blah. It seems easy enough. Um, obviously, I can do another video if you want of me putting it together, but the, the instructions seem very simple. Oop, and if it's not clear, they have a QR code for you as well. That is very nice. That's actually super helpful because a lot of people actually are more visual learners and photos just don't cut it. So let's go over all of the diamond painting pieces first because the main thing we want about this is the diamond painting. Okay, I'm dropping them so... <laughs> Hold on. Okay, wow. So already I just peeled off the backside and I know this is the front. So these are actually going to be double sided, which is perfect for a wind chime where it's gonna be moving around and stuff in the wind, hopefully. Um, there is UV safe resin that is safe for outdoors. Um, and you can get it in a shaker can and you can coat these, let the top dry, flip it and coat it again if you did actually want to put these outside. But please remember that things like that, even if it is UV protected, they do tend to yellow with age regardless. It's just a matter of how long. Wow, there's so many pieces in this. Are these double-sided too? He's scratching something in there. Oh, got it. So I believe these are also meant to be double-sided, but I'm not really feeling the stick right along where the 10 should be. But they are all double-sided. That is a lot of work, actually. So we have one, two pieces. Count is four if you want to count each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, so 28 sides of diamond painting. Wow, that is gonna take some time, but woof, is this going to be a rewarding project to finish? So I can tell already that they're gonna be sitting down like this. Um, I probably shouldn't force them while the film is still on, so I'm not going to. They are a little tiny bit curved, but I think that's fine. Let's actually look at the drilling field. Uh oh. Okay. Super clear. I don't know what is up with the brightness today on stuff for me. There we go. Sorry, <laughs> um, I was trying to see 
if, if it was printed on both sides, but I think it's just printed on one and then you can see through to this side. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have any trouble reading these at all. Um, I am noticing my hands are really dusty, actually. Maybe that's why some of the stick wasn't sticky on the edge, because I am picking up a lot of dust on this. Like, yeah, there's... I think that might just be from whatever laser etches these out. Um, though I do wish they would like find a way to dust them off. Cause yeah, it's uh, dusty on all of them. But hopefully that won't be a problem for the stick. And if there is, um, a little bit of E7000 glue would help you put those drills right back on there. So let's see what came in this little bag. And I believe I took the toolkit out. It was just a standard toolkit, you know, green boat, pink pen, pink wax. Oh, lots of little pieces. So here are the chimes. These aren't very heavy, so I guess we'll have to see when I'm finished how much noise these make, but they are really pretty. And I know there's like a string in here. Oh, I wish they bagged these up individually too. Well, this is obviously going to go on the top so you can hang it. And it looks like this has film on it too, which is also already coming off. The film isn't on there very good. And I feel like that's what's been happening with some of these. The film's coming off because the dust has been getting under them. Yeah. So we have all of these, which are to connect our pieces together. Uh, yeah, I'll show you if I do a tutorial. I'm just here to review the kit. And not get frustrated by how tangled everything is. But if you want to see this worked on and potentially completed before I'd get to it, go check out Amanda's Crafty Corner. I She has already started this. I believe she has the same one because that's the photo she used. I haven't really been watching a whole lot of videos lately. Um, my, my good TV recently broke, so I'm kind of, you know, out of luck. All right, I got it out and I'm going to wrap it up. This is for threading the chimes, but I am going to wrap this up so it does not tangle again. And so a little bit about this kit and new craft day. This kit costs, this kit costs $22.99 and that is with an 11% discount I'm currently seeing on their website. Originally it would be $25.85. New Craft Day is a website for, you guessed it, crafts. They have cross stitch, diamond painting, scrapbooking, epoxy, fire paint seal. Hmm. Liquor wax, liqueur wax fire paint accessories, and stamps. Interesting. So it looks like they also have paint by numbers, which I really do enjoy. But um, underneath the other ones, such as cross stitch, you can choose from brand, stamped, counted, nine count, all the way up to 18 count. You can choose your season, uh, your holiday, you can choose a theme. They really have anything you like. And the same goes for their diamond paintings. They also let you choose by drills, square, round, special. Um, you can get partials, full, like full canvas drills. There's really just so much to choose from here. And this is really unique because I haven't seen these on sites yet. 
So I think this might possibly be just exclusive to them for now. They do have a bunch of other options though. So they have this one, which is called the Flower Butterfly. This is the Flower Butterfly one. And I will pop a, sc a screen. <laughs> I will pop a picture of that on screen now. And then they have a birdcage one. I will, I will put all of these on screen as I name them off. So they have a birdcage one as well. They have a hummingbird one, which might be my favorite. Ooh, nope. They have a dragonfly one. I love that one. A flower lantern. A butterfly two. And butterfly three. So I want to see hummingbird and dragonfly are my favorite. I might have to get dragonfly though. That one's really cute. But those are the other options they have if you were into or interested in doing something like this. I might actually start this um, tonight or tomorrow. Like I said, my son has tomorrow, which is Friday. Um, I'll be posting this Friday, so I'm posting this the day after recording it. And uh, maybe I can edit and post it then and start it then because tonight I actually have shop orders to finish. So I should just get those out the way. And, you know, Friday through next week, my son has off. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how many pieces are in this. There's so many. Like, each one's an individual product, product, project. So it would kind of just be, like, I don't know. It would take a lot of the pressure off because you only have to really do one at a time. And then you're not sitting there with half of, or like an eighth of your canvas done and then stressing about, oh, I need to work on that and finish it. When you just really only have to worry about one little piece at a time on this one. Okay, I'm going to move this stuff out the way. And then I am going to show you the drills. Okay, so there are 24 colors in this kit. Um, there's definitely repeat, repeat bags for some of these colors. I'm gonna turn the volume down and we are gonna look at these colors together. Okay, now we're down to the special drills. I've never used these ones before. They're super tiny, but they're so cute. We have some teardrop type ones in pink and blue. We have some of these. I don't really know what color to call this, but there is um, Aurora Borealis in there. And then we have some more of the teardrops, but kind of in a, an off-white ember color. All right, that is all I have for you today from New Craft Day. I will, of course, be linking these down below. And I definitely probably will be using E7000 glue on the pieces where they lost the stick around the edge because I did feel them again as I put them away. They were just like dusty. They had no stick to the edges of them. So I'm definitely going to have to glue those ones on, which is a bit sad. Um, I'm not sure if all of them come this way. I'm actually going to go ahead and watch Amanda's review and see if she had the same problem. And if so, um, New Craft Day, you might want to reach out to whoever is producing these and just kind of, you know, let them know. Give them a heads up like, hey, these are dusty. They're losing their stick on the edges and all of that stuff. Thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm actually really going to enjoy doing this. I really do want to do a wind chime and I probably will at some point buy that dragonfly. It is just so cute. And then I can have one 
Um, I don't really have a garden, but maybe I'll plant a garden this year. And then my mom can have one for her garden. <laughs> um, she doesn't do these, but I do diamond paint, so I will happily do one for her. I do diamond paintings for her all the time. All right, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Give it a like so I know that you are enjoying my content. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys have made it this far because we should be some crafty friends. And also, if you like other diamond painting videos or cross stitch, I have plenty. I even just did a different video for New Craft Day. I think it might have been yesterday. If not, it's pre-recorded and I will post it in a day or so. So keep an eye out for that as well. In the description box with the link, there will also be a discount code for you guys, which is NIM10. All right, thank you so much for clicking on my video and checking this out with me. And just in case I do work on this, keep your eyes peeled so you can stay updated. Or again, go check out Amanda's. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.